Hi, I'm Joe Misich with Nebula Solutions Group. We're going to be creating a series of videos showing you how to improve your business using tools within SAP. Sometimes we'll be showing you things that don't involve SAP, maybe some other tool, maybe no tool at all. Our goal is to help you find better ways to do business. In this video, we're going to be showing you SAP's Manage Work Center Capacity Tool. This is a great tool for you to be able to quickly see where you have problems with capacity, whether it's the entire work center is over, over capacity or maybe just one day is. We're going to show you how to use this tool to spot those problems and then how to alleviate those problems. So let's take a look at what this software can do. We're going to show you how to use this app, how to identify capacity issues, how to fix these issues. For example, you could add capacity. You could reschedule an order. You could add overtime or add another shift. So let's get in the system and see how this works. Let's take a look at our tile. We see that we have one work center that is cumulatively overloaded. And we'll talk about what that means here in a second. So let's go ahead and click on the tile and get into the app. So the app appears using the selections built into your standard variant here. And if you click this little arrow, you'll get a drop down with what all of those selections are that gave you this. So you have your work centers. We have all the work centers in this particular plant. We have the evaluation horizons, how many days you're looking out. Uh, we have load type. Um, that's whether it is a cumulative overload, an overload, or an underload. Um, cumulative overload really means how many hours do I have as total requirement. Now it says 97 hours here, but we also have 38 hours overdue. You add those together, it's 135 ish. The total available capacity over this period. Is 112. That percentage is going to give you 121 percent, and that's why this is the one work center that in the tile before showed you it is cumulative overload, and that's why you got the red line here. Over here is kind of a day by day chart of each of your capacities, um, whether they're over or underloaded or um, in a critical or a warning stage. And if you click at the little legend here, you'll get an idea of what each of those means. So, and this is selectable. If you go over, you can say, look, don't show me anything as an overload unless it's over 110%. Um, I'm critically only worried about 90 to 110. So you can change those. So let's go ahead and drill into one of these. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, the app appears. That same chart we saw on the front screen is now presented to us in a larger format. It's shown as percentage. Uh, if we scroll down here, we'll see the actual operations, uh, production orders. You'll also see planned orders if they've generated capacity requirements. You got the first 10. If you want to see more, click more. It'll bring up another 10 more, and so on and so on. Down here is your actual shift, your available capacity. Same thing. If you hit more, you'll bring up more of that screen. Let's go back up here to this chart. So the chart defaults to a percentage based. Sometimes that's not that helpful. Uh, you click this and go to hours. Now you'll see this based on hours. So your little black line here is your available hours. The bar is the actual requirements that are there. If you click on one of them, you'll then get a pop-up here saying your utilization is 22, the ship capacity is 22.9. So you're slightly above that, and that's what you see here. Um, this one has it. The problem is the black line is very thin and it's right under there, but it's the same thing. It's there as well. 
you have the ability to also look at this in a tabular form. Same information, but it's tabular, so you can see the data all at once. Personal preference there. If you want to make any changes to this, you have to go into the edit mode. And now you'll see fields are opened up. So I can reschedule these orders. I can change shift times. I can change shift utilization if I want to go over or under. Or I can change the number of capacities if I have the ability to pull another welder in or another assembly guy. Uh, maybe I have another machine that uh, normally sits idle. I can bring that up. Then at the bottom, you have the save ability. You also have the ability to make a change and then leave it in draft mode. So if I add capacity here and I hit enter, it says saving draft, then draft save. This is saved in a draft mode here. I haven't made a change. If you go into ERP, you won't see any change. Not until you actually hit this save button Will you see that? Let's go back to the screen over here. Now you see that plasma table is saved as a draft because I've made a change there. Okay. Let's reschedule an order now, I'll show you how that works. So we're going to take this assembly line one and drill into it. Okay. So on the 17th here, we are slightly over. Matter of fact, let's go and look at the hours. Okay. Not too bad, but let's go ahead and reschedule an order here just to level this out a little bit. So. 17th. Let's look for it. There we go. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and go into edit mode. Let's take, might as well take this one right here. What we're going to do, we're just going to move it to the 18. Save that. Okay. And let's save. If we scroll up. We see we now have this. It's in a warning level, but it is below capacity. All right, let's take a look at how we would add capacity. Uh, we'll go back to that same work center we were in. And on the 22nd, we have a situation. I'm going to switch this to hours. And we'll see that we are over capacity here. We're about nine hours short. So let's go down to the capacity here. Here's Monday. We've got two shifts of three resources each. So let's go ahead and edit that. Okay. And let's go add one person to each shift. Hit enter, saved our draft, and let's go ahead and save this. Okay. And now you'll see we are below capacity. Okay, let's take one more example here, and let's take a situation where 
just adding a few more hours to a shift, working a little overtime, will clear up our issue. So here on the 17th, you'll see we are slightly over. Yeah, we need to free up about an hour. So let's go ahead and go down to the 17th. Get into editing mode. And here's the 17th. We're cutting off here at 3 o'clock. Let's make that 16. And go ahead and save that. And we're now back under our capacity. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.